Hi guys, welcome to Vilesa Esprit to Raman YouTube channel. Let's discuss today's topic, link training and uh, status state missing in PC Express. In PC Express, LTSSM plays a major role. LTSSM makes PC link properly configured, stable and ready for the data transmission. LTSSM consists 11 top level states which are detect, polling, configuration, recovery, L0, L0S, L1, L2, hard reset, loopback and disable. This can be grouped into 5 categories. Uh, let us discuss one by one. Uh, first is link training states. Link training states are detect, polling, configuration, L0 state. Retraining states are recovery state. Software driven permanent states are L1 and L2. Active state permanent states are L0S and ASPM L1 state. Remaining all other states are hard reset, loopback and disable. Let us discuss each one by one. Detect. Detect this is the insert state after any fundamental reset. In this state, root complex will detect whether the off and common present or not. Root complex will transmit the stable voltage on the D plus and D minus terminals. If the voltage level decreases rapidly, it will miss there is no component present at the receiving side. If the voltage level not decreasing rapidly, it will indicate like that the volt there is a receiver present at the opponent side. Now you got receiver is detected. Now you have to be and sample the data properly. How you can do that one? In a polling state, you have to be sampling the data properly by using the TS1 and TS2 address set. Both transmitter and receiver will send the TS1 or TS1, TS2 address set to accomplish the bit lock and the symbol lock. Bit lock symbol lock means you have to be sampling the data properly by achieving the bit lock and the symbol lock. And also, we have to be get what the maximum supported speed by using the TS1, TS2 order set. There is a data write ID inside the TS1, TS2 order set. If you already got, there is a receiver is detected. Now, when there is one scenario, receiver is detected, but there is no TS1 is coming from the opponent component. What can I, what it will do? Transmitter side, transmitter side will direct the complaint test pattern. This complaint test pattern will get the information of the opponent component. What is the voltage level, what is the other parameters, the timing things, everything will uh, calculate by using the complaint pattern. Now sampling happened correctly. Now what is the step you have to do? For the each PC device, it contains the number of links, number of lanes. Okay, you have to be configured the links under lane number. How you can configure? In the configuration state, each port, which is each component, will drive the TS1 and TS2 address it. What is the supported link with what is the supported lane number? It will send. But root complex will decide how, how many links are needed, what is the link width needed. And also, there are the multiple lanes are there. Each lane having a separate property, which has it made with different materials, which it will makes the each lane different skew. If each lane having a different skew, it's not possible to sample the data properly because each lane having a different timing delays. Let's have a send well, uh, have a, I have content four lanes. I am sending the data to the first lane. It taking less time to travel to destination set or receiver set. But fourth lane taking more time. How, how it will affect the data transmission? Because you have to be sampling the data properly. If all the lanes having the driving the uh, data at the same time means you have to sample the data properly at the receiving side. Due to that, you have to be discue the timing difference between the lanes here. In the configuration state itself, you are reducing the lanes here. Now, all things completed, all the setup you had, did, receiver is detected, one task is completed, another thing, sampling the signals properly you have done, another thing, if the, if the multiple lanes are there, there is a due to material difference, each having the different skew, you have, you already did the skew for the each lane, that is completed. What is the next step you have to do? You have to be transmit the data. 
in the L0 state you are transmitting the actual package which is TLPs and DLPs in the L0 state you are transmitting both root complex and end point will actually transmit the package in this state in the L0 state it will transfer if you wanted to exit the speed change or to move to any low power state by in, in the L0 state to you have to exit the recovery lock or low power states ok now recovery recovery state is needed when it's needed means if there is a, some scenario you already completed all the tasks ok but uh, there may be some uh, disturbance uh, when traveling the data at that time some error happen you have to recover that error ok by using the recovery state you can do or uh, otherwise you have to do some uh, change which is the liquid to change or a uh, speed change you have to be done inside the recovery state let's consider uh, you are currently you are in the gen 1 speed you wanted to change the speed to gen 2 speed to increase the bandwidth here how you can achieve by using the recovery state you can do these things now this recovery state is completed it will uh, uh, do some operations which is the link width to change or speed change or error scenarios or to exit the low power states now move to 11 11 means now there is no data you, you don't have any data to transmit what you can do you have to make the device into ideal state how you can make the device into ideal state by using the eleven state eleven state is the state where you are turning off the power which will make to save the power why you have to save the power here because you don't have enough data to transmit the transmit the opponent component why you have to be uh, make the device on here you have to make some part of the de design into the off it will uh, make the power save here let's uh, in the eleven state what happen if there is no packets to transmit what will happen our end point which is EP will drive one signals which is it will initiate the 11 handshake to the RC then RC will check that is acceptable then it will uh, both uh, link partners enter the 11 set otherwise then RC will send the NAC signal which is uh, it will not accept at that time it will send the 11 negotiations will not complete okay now there is another scenario what will happen rc will configure the registers inside the device which is low power stress which is a d1 d2 d3 hot d3 cold whenever if you have software which is rc will write the registers power states which is d1 d2 d3 then end point will make the l1 hand shaking to enter the l1 state now in the eleven state what happened you are uh, using uh, making the power save but if you wanted to make more power save how you can do by using the L2 set in the L2 set main, main power of the device will turn off ok there is no power less power is there why they kept less power here because now you understand you have to be uh, wake up the duty if there is no power inside the your uh, duty there is no power inside the your device how you can wake up the your device you have to be set some minimum voltage which is we actually source to set inside the device to wake up the device when you have to be if the you have to be transmit the data at the time you have to be use some wake up signals which is a beacon signal beacon is the one wake up signal or and another sideband signal which is the wake uh, wake signal sideband wake signal it can be useful to wake up the duty yeah now the l2 power state is complete it is the more power uh, main it will shut down the main power okay device now loop back loop back is the state where you are testing the round trip round trip means you, you already configured the link okay but you are you are trying to check the complete path why you have to check the complete path means because if let's consider have a send one data okay the data may be corrupted at the receiver side okay it will take uh, it will it will give some error scenario now you wanted to make some check here what is the check you send some data to the lens what will happen same data will need to reflect by the slave master means our rc will send a ts1 with respect to the loop back bit then receiver side which is the slave side our ep ep will check the loopback bit and also it will enter the L1 loopback state 
it will send the deviation with respect to the loop back bit now both loop back sets are there link partners what now what will exchange happen ts on order set will exchange happen now it will transmit the one data which is master will transmit the ts on order set the t what is the ts on order set sent by the master one it what it will need to be echo everything what is the sender the master which is rc you have to be echoes back everything by the our end point it will indicate there is no disturbance inside the link because what i am sending it will everything is reflected for me everything i got there is no inside errors in the, inside the link it will give some integrity check uh, which is round trip verification you can do by the loop back okay let's move another concept disable disable means it is uh, to disable the device which is a uh, configure link you can disable in this state what happen the transmitter let's consider our rc it is in the electrical radio set while the receiver in the low impedance state why they making this uh, transmitter in the electrical ideal and the receiver is in the low impedance let's discuss what happen there is one feature we wanted to remove the device by using the hard plug feature is one concept in the pca you have to be remove the device you have to suppress uh, removal of the device at that time you have to be use the disabled state in the disabled state receiver unless you have to be remove that uh, our component which is the end point uh, our device any any device you have to be remove at that time what will happen the what the state at that time it is low impedance state before this is the state in the disabled state only device is configured device is disabled which is transmitting the electrical idle and uh, receiver in the high impedance state it will uh, makes to remove the device here yeah how you can do this one you can achieve by setting the disable bit in the link control register for the rc if you set the disable bit in the link control register what will happen our rc will send the ts1 address set with, to the ep duet okay ep ep will get the ts1 with respect to the disable bit then ep will understand okay i will also change the my state to disable state then it will change it will enter the disable state okay this is the disable state concept the disable state means that that is one thing you have to be uh, suppress removal of the device when there is a need to be remove the device uh, at that time you have to use the disable state make the link is disable at that time now hard reset hard reset is the state where when there is a error signal or otherwise you have to be enter some retraining which is need to be done at the time you can use the hard reset whenever the hard reset happen what happen it will directly enter the detect detect the starting stage okay now after the whenever any device any state enter the detect state what will happen it will again fetch the device and do sample the data checking happen and do configure the lens everything will done training when enter the hard reset everything will do training here okay this hard reset uh, it will give some errors in areas happen at that time you can uh, achieve this one how you can do that one means our rc rc having a one uh, register which is the secondary bus reset between the bridge control register you can configure the secondary bus reset inside the bridge control reset of the rc what will happen rc it will send the ts1 hard reset with respect to the hard reset bit whenever the our rc will send ts1 hard uh, reset with respect to rc or uh, hard bit hard reset bit then ep will understand oh i also need to be enter the hard reset because rc is sending ts1 with respect to hard reset then ep also enter the hard reset then again training will start it will uh, again fetch the component again sample the data properly again configure the lens okay yeah this is the overall lts is a context yeah thanks for that giving the chance let's wind up the session please share and subscribe